What's good, everybody? It's your boy PR Links, bringing you a game of Modern Warfare 3, a uh, Modern Warfare Remaster, and uh, and um, and giving you guys a little bit of an update, man. This is a weight loss update, second week of my uh, weight loss journey, and I gotta say, man, this it's been a bit disappointing week, man. I, I have. I have let me turn this out a little bit I so I can kind of face you guys I have um, here you go. I have um, I haven't really lost any weight since the last time I weighed it myself uh, last week when I give you guys the uh, first update the well, first week I didn't have that drastic weight loss um, you know I this uh, second week was pretty, uh, I stayed about the same weight pretty much a whole week. And then uh, right now I'm like, I'm like two pounds heavier than I was on my last update. So I'm, I'm, down, I'm up to 261 on my last update. I was 259. So I'm trying to figure out what it was. I, I'm thinking that that uh, the, the, the fast weight loss uh, most likely was the uh, weight, weight, water weight. And that's why it was so drastic like that. But anyhow, um, I'm going to adjust my macros. And for you guys up there that don't know what macros are, that's the amount of carbs, fats, and protein you have on, on, on your plate. So I'm going to adjust that, um, eliminate the carbs. You know, some people, <coughs> excuse me, some people, uh, bodies are more sensitive to carbs than others. Uh, some people are more sensitive to protein than others. And, uh, and I'm one of those guys that I'm, I'm um, I cannot, I cannot take too many carbs. If I... If I intake too many carbs, I'm not gonna lose weight, uh, and I ended up gaining weight. So I gotta lower the amount of carbs I'm intaking drastically. I'm still doing the one meal a day, and I'm still drinking a gallon of water. Also, another thing that I I started doing, I started adding um, uh, water flavor on into my water and I'm drinking like a gallon of water but I'm drinking with, you know this flavor water uh, it doesn't have any calories or anything like that but it does have um, sucrose which is sugars um, it's not sugar like sugar but it is some kind of sugar uh, like, like the stuff you got like a splendor like that, those type of sweeteners. And that's, and I think that's also affecting my weight loss. So I got it, um, just go, just drink plain water and don't add any kind of flavoring to it and see how that, that's my phone, see how that goes, you know what I'm saying? See if, if uh, at least for a week, see if that has any effect to it. And just, just drink water just drink plain water and then adjust my macros on one nap so that I can see what, what what's going on when you're trying to lose weight it's, it's a work in progress you first of all it's not something that you're gonna accomplish in a matter of weeks it, it takes months and especially when you're trying to lose um, 50 pounds and more you know what I'm saying it takes a long long time you got to be patient and you got to play with your plate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? As you're losing weight, the amount of calories that you intake, depending on if you're doing exercise or if you're not doing exercise, the amount of calories that you intake changes too. You always got to take, you take the, if you're not exercising and you're working in a job that is mostly a, a sit down job, you take the amount of calories, I mean the amount of, of um, take the amount of w the weight, what's your weight, you multiply it by 12. 
and that's going to give you the calories that you have to take in order to lose one pound a week if you are you know you take brief walks here and there you know what I'm saying and, and you have some type of movement during your day uh, you work on your feet or whatnot then you take that number you multiply your weight times 13 and if you actually go into the gym you multiply your weight times 14 so depending on the amount of exercising and movement you do during the day that's going to determine if you multiply by 12 13 or 14 and that's going to that's going to give you pretty much the ceiling of calories that you can take on that day to lose one pound per week so um <clears throat> excuse me that's that's pretty much it man that's how i calculate my calories so I don't have no problems with the calories. I, th I, I think I'm taking, I'm not taking too many calories. My problem is not calories. My problem is actually um, the carbs. Carbs, I'm taking too many carbs and I need to just stick with water and not, don't add any flavoring or anything to it. That's, that's pretty much shit. I, 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 <coughs> I believe that if I just do that, I just take, I just drink water and I lower my carbs count, I'll lose weight. Anyway, man, that's it for today. That's it. That's my update for today. Make sure that uh, you keep track every week, man. I'm going to give you guys update on Tuesdays. Let you guys know uh, how is my, my, my progress. And, uh, and I, I got, you know, it's a long, long way to go, man. I got to June. So I just been patient and keep keep going, man. Like I said, I still in one gallon of water, one meal a day, man. So keep on talking, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure you hit the like and share the, the video. And uh, you're welcome to join me in this journey, man. Trying to lose weight, man. My way to losing 120, 120 pounds, man. Peace. Adios, man. Peace.